This American carnage stops right here and stops right now. As Donald Trump promised an American revival, the man who had just passed the mantle of power could only listen as his successor painted a dark picture of the current state of the union. Mothers and children trapped in poverty in our inner cities, rusted out factories scattered like tombstones across the landscape. From this day forward, a new vision will govern our land. And for many that came to the nation's capital, like Keene's Lewis Morrison, it was the message they were looking for. It was incredible. The feeling that I got after, you know, the transition of power to Trump, I thought it was unbelievable. It was impressive. It was a great crowd. Yeah, it was uh, pretty civil and well-behaved. But that wasn't true everywhere. Not far from the National Mall, protests turned destructive and violent, leading to dozens of arrests while others just cried. I bawled my eyes out because now that is our president. For many critics, the new president's words rang hollow, but for what appeared to be the majority of the crowd, certain moments brought inspiration. Gotta be the finale. Yeah. Knew what was coming, but still loved it. We will make America safe again. And yes, together, we will make America great again. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. And it was a loud crowd here at the National Mall, though uh, most agree it was significantly smaller than the one that Barack Obama enjoyed back in 2008. As for those protests, uh, there were several of them, and they led to about 100 arrests, we're told, and also led to the uh, minor injuries of three police officers. But it's not going to stop the pageantry of the evening. There are three presidential balls tonight that uh, President Trump will attend with his family as the city and the nation celebrates and in some circles laments president, 45th president of the United States, Donald Trump. Reporting live from the nation's capital, I'm Josh McKelvin, WMUR News 9.